Hello and welcome to this new series on Python for the digital humanities in which we're going to be using the SPACI module. SPACI is a powerful NLP, which stands for Natural Language Processing. It's a way in which we can analyze large quantities of texts very quickly using neural networks and models. The good news is modules like SPACI and NLTK, which stands for Natural Language Toolkit, uh, are, are, allow us to use the and get benefits from machine learning without actually having to code in any machine learning because it's already trained the models for us. Now, the academic standard for a long time was to you what was known as NLTK, which, like I said, is the uh, natural uh, natural language I can't type language toolkit. And I'll provide a link provide a link in the description down below to that. This came out of I believe Stanford. Uh, it's really good. Uh, kind of the academic standard, but in the last five years, uh, there's been a really strong competitor, and I would argue better alternative to NLTK, and that is something called SPACI, and the way it's spelt is like this, S-P-A, and then capital C, and then lowercase y. Uh, SPACI is a much more powerful, much more, and this is the big thing, much quicker natural language processing module for Python. <laughs> I believe that it will replace NLTK almost entirely within the next few years as it becomes increasingly popular and more the academic standard. For right now, though, there's not really a good tutorial on SPACI for the digital for the purposes of digital humanities on YouTube or really anywhere on the internet. So I thought I'd go ahead and start doing this, especially after one subscriber asked for me to do that. So what we're going to be doing in this series is we're going to be using SPACI to analyze, and this is what the subscriber asked for, the text of Alice in Wonderland. I'm going to provide a link in the description down below. I got this from the Gutenberg uh, project website, and I simply deleted the stuff at the beginning, and I deleted the stuff at the end, and it's all the trademark and uh, copyright information so that we have a cleaned up text. And what we're going to be doing in this video is just preparing this text for our analysis in SPACI. So we're not going to actually work with SPACI in this video. We're going to start doing that in the next video. So what I want you to do right now is just work with me and just we're going to write a little bit of code. And I did this in another video. I'm going to do it here. So if you've already seen it, you can probably skip this. But what we're going to do is we're going to break down the Alice in Wonderland text down into individual chapters so that we can kind of quickly work with them and not work with an entire text. Because when you're loading in a spacey uh, uh, model, uh, machine learning model, it's expensive. It takes a little bit of time to load. And the larger the text, the longer time it's going to take for spacey to analyze the text. So throughout this series, we're going to be working with things usually, not always, but usually on a chapter by chapter basis. So what we're going to say is with open, this is our open mo uh, operator, we're going to open up and this is where I've put the Alice in Wonder text in a subfolder called data. So data backslash uh, Alice dot txt. We're going to open that as R because we just want to read it and we're going to load it as F. This is going to allow us to uh, identify, create an object called text, which we're going to make, be, make equal to f.read. And what this is going to do, if I just print this off right now, is I print off text, and it prints off, as you can tell, all of the Alice in Wonderland text from beginning to end. But like I said, I want to be able to work with it on a chapter-by-chapter uh, -chapter basis. So if I scroll all the way up, I will notice that this actually is uh, more easily broken down by chapter by just identifying what the common uh, common repetition is with regards to the chapters. So every chapter starts off with a capital uh, word chapter with a space. So what I am simply going to do, comment that out, I'm going to say chapters, and I'm going to create a list. Chapters is going to be equal to text.split. And because I know that every chapter begins this way, and I do, just take my word for it, you'll see that it works, I'm going to split everything at chapter. Well, if I do that, I'm going to get a list that looks like this. So print chapters. And I have this weird space at the beginning. And the reason why I have that is because when we use the split operator or split function, uh, what it's doing is it is separating uh, out that first instead of chapter and putting nothing before it. So what I'm simply going to do is I'm simply going to say one and use a colon. And what this is going to do now is it's going to start from that fr uh, position number two, which is number one in Python, and it's going to just call everything else. So essentially it just deletes that entire first entrance in the list. And now what I have are all of the chapters listed out. So I can print off chapter one. If I do zero, you'll see just the same thing. Uh, you see it all printed off down there. If I want to print off, and if I scroll up, you can see just so I can prove it to you. Chapter one down the rabbit hole, chapter 
two is going to be one and we're going to see the same thing if i scroll up we'll see chapter two the pool of tears etc and you can go on down the list and if you want to check it you can kind of just do something like this uh, the length of chapters and i believe alice in wonderland has 12. yep there you go the length of the list is 12. that's a good way to kind of test and check that your split has actually worked correctly so we got all uh, 12 chapters now separated into its own object so that's going to be all for this video. I'm going to delete this, clean this up, and now we're ready to actually start importing Spacey in the next video and to begin working with some of the very powerful NLP functions in Spacey. I don't know how many uh, videos this is going to take. It's going to be a lot because it's, Spacey is a powerful module, but stick with me. By the end of the series, you're going to know all the basics and be able to analyze the text with a very powerful NLP. That's all for this video. Thanks for listening. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe down below and visit us at pythonhumanities.com.